Welcome to Ashland Middle School for Hopkinton Hillers and Ashland Clockers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM Television in Hopkinton or WACA TV in Ashland. Tom Nappy on the call for a nice afternoon here at Ashland Middle School. Temperatures are in about the mid 60s and a slight breeze as we get ready to tip off between the Hillers and the Clockers and we are underway the Hopkinton Hillers in their road green jerseys moving left to right across your screen and they control early on here in this game as we will get a look at the starting 11 let's take a look at the Ashland Clockers they are led by head coach Tracy Sipanowski and their starting 11 include Jessica Braden number six, Allison Flaherty, number 10, number 21, Lily Fuller, number one, Livia Green, number 22, Kaylee Hennessy, as the Hillers try to work their way into Ashland territory, number 15, Madeline Hornung, number 16, Sydney Jablonski, number 11, Emily Lang, number 19, Ryan Lima, number three, Elena Pellegrini, and number 20, Sarah Simpson. Ashland Clockers a, feature a young team, certainly uh, trying to develop throughout the season as now they control it in Hopkinton territory. Let's take a look at the Hillers starting 11. Number two, Sydney McDonald. Number three, Corrine Messier. Number four, Maya Zent. Number five, Sam Thompson. As there's one over to the goal area. It'll be scooped up by the goalkeeper. Number eight, Natalie Calkins. Number 10, Shannon Finnegan. Number 11, Ashley Donnelly. Number 12, Emma Lakasha. And number 13, Gabby Welding, as that's cleared out by the defender. Number 15, Sammy Hirsch. And number 17, the captain, Cameron Boyce. Round out the starting 11 for the Hopkinton Hillers, who are led by second year head coach Renee Hillbrunner. As that one out of bounds and going to go out past the end line. Hillers will get to clear this one away. Natalie Calkins in net today for the Hillers. And they have used a couple different goaltenders this season. As in control now, it's Ryan Lima up the sideline towards the corner. And that one out of bounds off of Allison Flaherty. Take a look at the TVL standings in just a moment. Medway is leading the pack when it comes to girls soccer. They went all the way to the state championship last season. They are 8-0-1. The only tie for Medway came against the Hillers. Played a very competitive game against an excellent Medway team. Ashland has turned their season around. They're four, three, and two. They have 10 points and they are in the playoff picture. Medfield having a great season at seven, one, and one. Norton, two, seven, and zero. Oh. The Hillers girls, they have played very well as of late. Two, three, and four overall. Bellingham, oh, nine, and zero. Oh. Holliston, four, two, and three. Dover, Sherborne, four, four, and two. Westwood, three, six, and zero. Oh. And Millis, 6-4 and 1, a very competitive TVL this season. As here comes Ashland back into Hiller's territory. As Fuller will get it back over to Lang. Up the far side now. Good passing by the Clockers into the attack area. Top of the box now. Good defensive. Move there by McDonald to clear that one away. McDonald gets it back to midfield to Sam Thompson. And now the Clockers chase it down as Sidney Jablonski is there. Down the far sideline, a pass over to Sam Thompson and it's taken back by the Clockers as laying a good pass up the sideline and now back into Hiller's territory. It's a foot race over to the box. To the right side, and the shot is in. 
A goal for the Ashland Clockers, Elena Pellegrini makes it one nothing Ashland. Great pass and a great shot by Pellegrini. Right past Calkins, assisted by Lily Fuller. An early lead for Ashland. Ashland girls got the one nothing victory over the Hillers last time these two met up in Hopkinton. And we have that game for you on WACA as well as HCAM. As this is back into Ashland territory. Throw in for the Hillers. Up the sideline, chased down by Sam Thompson. Trip up there, gets a whistle. Elena Pellegrini up against Sam Thompson. Free kick now, Maya Zent. Zent with a liner there. Defended well by Ashland. This game was originally supposed to be part of a girls boys double header. That got changed around to the Hopkinton Honor Society. They have their ceremony here tonight over at Hopkinton High School. So we get some afternoon soccer action. Boys game over at the high school. As the Hillers work down the near side, coming downfield, Gabby Welding, and she can't keep it in. It is a throw in for the Hillers. Cameron Boyce on the throw in. Back and forth battle here at midfield. Finnegan back in Ashland territory, but out of bounds. Madeline Hornung on the throw in. Now throw in for the Hillers. And that's out of bounds. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Ashland Clockers, Hopkinton, Hillers, Girls Varsity Soccer. A 1-0 lead for the Ashland Clockers. You're watching on either WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. It's a nice uh, combination effort here by staff at WACA as well as HCAM. Jack Emberly of WACA on camera today. Tom Nappy on the call as the Hillers set for the free kick. Gabby Welding will take it. Welding airs it out, a good one, right to the top of the box. And the goalkeeper going to have to come out and scoop it up. It's Olivia Green, the goalkeeper. And she has been a very good goalkeeper this season for Ashland. Madeline Hornung on the throw in and we're gonna get a whistle here. We got just over 31 minutes left to go here in the first half. Yeah, certainly great to uh, have a clock available. Throw in for Ashland. Kind of 
Enter by Welding. Nice job there by Boyce, getting it back deep in Ashland territory. Clockers will get to clear that away. Well, already about actually more than halfway through the season in most cases, or just about at the halfway point. Certainly starting to get to that time where you need to rack up these points to get into the postseason. And both these teams, they have some work to do to get in, but certainly a great chance for both of them to make it and get the uh, required, I believe it's 18 points. Chase down near the end line and out of bounds. Few substitutions for the Hillers. They'll bring in four. Lexi Hasbrouck, one of the subs coming into the game. As well as Olivia O'Connor. Also Molly Birchman in the game as well for the Hillers. Throw in for Ashland. Into Hiller's territory. A header there by Lakasha. Hasbroke. Tripped up. Good steal by Hennessy. Corning throws it in. It's off of Lang and out. Cameron Boyce playing it off of Grosser. Has broke with the pass. Ashland certainly playing aggressive. They're playing a physical game here. They know they can't let this Hillers team get in the attack zone. There's Rodriguez coming up the near side, out of bounds. Throw in for Ashland. That one out off of Hasbro. Now Grosser will throw it in. Grosser. And a free kick for the Hillers. These Hillers defenders, they are getting right in front of this Ashland attack. They do not want to let any of these forwards get a shot off. Some very good scoring forwards on the clockers. As we saw early on with Elena Pellegrini, you let them get the open shot, they're gonna take advantage of it. Olivia O'Connor down to the corner. And that's put out by Ashland and a Hillers throw-in. <coughs> throw-in by Zent. And cleared away by the defender, Emily Lang. That one aired out by Lacasia. Scooped up by the goaltender. Olivia Green, who has played very well in net for Ashland all season long. Down the left side is O'Connor. And out of bounds beyond the end line, it is going to be Ashland ball. Jessica Braden will clear it away. There's that one up the far sideline. 
And some good footwork there by Asbrook, but cleared away by the defender. Throw in Cameron Boyce. Kirsch turns it around. Nice pass over to McDonald who airs it out. Hillers on the attack, O'Connor down the sideline. Now Ashland steals it away. Some good defense along that far sideline for the Clockers. Hillers throwing from about midfield. Sidney Jablonski was back to field it. Put back out of bounds off of Ashland. Cleared away back to midfield. Good pass down the sideline, but no one there. And we are going to get a timeout by Ashland. Coach Sipanowski not happy with what she's seeing so far. The Clockers leading the Hillers 1-0. 23-55 left to go in the first half. Continuing on with the first half off the Ashland timeout. Well, the Hillers, they uh, had the momentum going their way for a while as they pretty much pinned the ball in Ashland territory. So the Clockers call a timeout, make a few adjustments, and we'll see what they do here. Hillers certainly are going to have to continue to be aggressive in this game if they want to score against this Ashland team. You got a very good goalkeeper in Olivia Green and very good defenders as well. You're certainly going to need to get shots off and that's one thing the Hillers have struggled with at times this season is getting shots off. One cleared up the far sideline. Good leg there by Braden. Header along the sideline. Back into Ashland territory it goes. Throw in for Ashland. Good steal by McDonald. Pass cross field over to Hornung. Along the sideline, you saw Fuller. Has broke along the sideline. Hornung on the throw in. Header by Hasbrook, and we get a whistle. Cameron Boyce on the throw in. Has broke along the end line. 
And Green will come out and scoop that one away. Sammy Hirsch was trying to break away at midfield, but met up with Hennessy. Up the sideline it goes, chasing it down, Shannon Finnegan alongside Kiara Flynn. Clockers throwing. Heavy leg on that one. And nearly got away from the goalkeeper. Is Kaylee Hennessy on the shot. Hawkins forced to come out. Fortunately for the Hillers, Hawkins able to get that one away, but now danger here. Nicely defended out of the box. Maddie Abbott on defense, and we get a whistle there. Hiller's free kick, Cameron Boyce will take it. Boyce down to Hasbro. And Hasbro tripped up as Allison Flaherty defending. Boyce on the throw in. Couple substitutions by both teams. Kara Flynn back into the game for Ashland. Maddie Abbott for the Hillers. Excuse me, Allie Bird for the Hillers. Off the sideline, put out of bounds. That one off of Ashland. As Grassberger got the foot on it. Boyce on the throw in. Zent passes over to the far side in the direction of Olivia O'Connor. Zent on the throw in. Down the sideline, an attempted pass by Birchman. <coughs> Hillers will have the corner. Big opportunity here as we're about halfway through the first half. Maya Zent from the far side. Right into the middle, that was a beauty, but we'll have a whistle. Clockers will have the free kick. Just had a little too much power on that corner. Ashland throw in. Back and forth in the midfield area. Clockers now trying to work something here. Despite the one nothing Ashland lead, it's really been the Hillers who have had more momentum in the attack zone. Kasia airs that one out off of Bruden. Pass to the near side. Fuller 
That one gets away from everybody. Boyce on the throw in. Kept away by the defender, O'Connor. Now into the box. Hawkins comes out, scoops it up. the far side and we'll get a handful of substitutions Ashland starting to put the pressure on here One defended well. <coughs> Jaylee Hennessy was attempting to get that one in to the box. Ashland will have the corner. Hennessy will take this. Lifts that one up. Header into the box. And another header towards the net. Out of bounds, Ashland. Allison Flaherty with the secondary header there. Killers will get to clear it away. Tennessee along the far sideline. Throw in Zent. She'll do it again. Here come the Hillers on the attack. Messier. Pass up front. And taken out of play by Braden. Hiller's throwing, Zent on the throwing. <coughs> Out in front and Braden towards the sideline. And that one a little bit too far from where she wanted it. Ashlyn will get to kick it away. Lift on that one. And I see upfield, Finnegan responds. Out of bounds, Hillers. Trip up there, no whistle, good footwork by Hennessy. Get a whistle there. It'll be in favor of Hopkinton. Zent will take it from the far side. Air 
clears it out. Put out of bounds by Hennessy. Zen on the throw and back out it goes. That one off of Lang. Ashland will have this one. As the sun starts to shine down on the field. About 11.48 left to go in the first half. A one nothing lead for Ashland. It's been a back and forth game since that Ashland goal, which came early in the first half. Elena Pellegrini put it in off a nice pass from Lily Fuller. Boyce along the near side, stolen away by Gigliotti. Ashland trying to work their way into Hopkinton territory. Hellers have certainly defended their territory well in this game. And it's coming down the far side there is Sam Thompson. Welding. McDonald back to Lacasia. And a push there and a whistle. Throw in Ashland. And we'll get the whistle there and it's going to be a free kick for the Hillers. Zent will pass it out to Hirsch. That one off of McDonald. That was a good clear away there by Flaherty. Ashland driving. Going to get a shot off here on the ground and off of Calkins. Elena Pellegrini was looking for her second goal with that one, but could not get the angle she wanted. Hiller's now racing in Ashland territory. Sam Thompson along the sideline. Put out of bounds by Jablonski. Substitution timeout here as Ashland throws it in. Flynn airs that out. Boyce trying to chase it down and taken out of bounds by Pellegrini. Landon Pellegrini only a sophomore for the Clockers. It will certainly be exciting to watch her over the next couple seasons with the Clockers soccer team. As Boyce and Pellegrini meet up in the corner. Good pass by Pellegrini. Into the box, the attempt to center it up there is denied by the defenders. There's Lima looking over towards Terabasi.
McDonald back into Ashland territory. And this one, nearly ahead of the defender. Good job by Green clearing that away. Green will come out of the net and scoop this one away. Nice move there by Gigliotti. Pellegrini. Flaherty. Boyce. McDonald. Kasia back into Ashland territory. Physical game between these two rivals, as it always is, pretty much in any Hopkinton Ashland game. Down the far side is Zent. Ashland working in their own territory. Vigliotti along the sideline. Welding trying to steal it away there. McDonald puts it out. Substitution Ashland. We'll bring in a couple. Jessica Grosser, Erica Grassberger, and Lily Fuller in the game for the Clockers. Had her by Welding. Good footwork there by Lang. There's Lang again, and that one cleared away by Welding. Donald there drawing the contact. This will go Hiller's way. Big opportunity here. Approaching the final minutes of the first half. Welding airs it out. Off the goalkeeper, still alive. And then she'll wrap it up. That one nearly got away from Green. Gigliotti down the sideline. Flynn back towards Gigliotti now and out of bounds off of Gigliotti. Welding on the throw in. Shot here is going to go through the uprights, but not into the net as Sandy Hirsch on the attempt. Well, maybe the Hillers football team could uh, use her as a field goal kicker. Cleared away. Jessica Braden clearing it away for Ashland. Now back into the defensive zone. Pass by Jablonski. Green comes out, scoops it away. Boyce out of bounds. Go, 
Kara Flynn on the throw in. Thompson along the far side. Turn around and scooped up by Green. That shot attempt was Corinne Messier. This one will go Ashland's way. Aired out by Braden. <laughs> Flynn on the throw in. Turn off, stop the clock. Down the sideline, welding. Pass ahead. And taking that one out of bounds is Flynn. Final stages of the first half, Cameron Boyce on the throw in. Centered up. Pass inside the box on the left side and tripped up there is Sam Thompson. And right behind her was Isabella Terabasi and that's going to do it for the first half. Ashland scores an early goal. It was Elena Pellegrini with the assist from Lily Fuller and that was the only goal of the first half. And then after that, it was really just back and forth momentum throughout. Ashland leading Hopkinton one to nothing. You're watching Girls Varsity Soccer on either WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. We are set for the second half. Ashland off to a one nothing lead over the Hopkinton Hillers. It's Girls Varsity Soccer on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Tom Nappy on the call for what has been a great battle between these two teams. As chasing it down towards the end line is Pellegrini. Ashland now working left to right across your screen for the second half. Hillers will have some work to do to try to tie this one up. This Ashland defense has played very well in this one so far. out there by Zent. Back and forth it goes. Zent along the near side. And that they say that's off of Zent, so throw in Ashland. Sydney Jablonski. Over towards the corner, Pellegrini. And yeah, the last time these two teams met up, Ashland got the one nothing victory. And if I recall correctly, that game, that game actually uh, had the goal late in the first half too as well. Throw in Hillers, Zent. Kirsch. Back towards Lang. Scooped up by the goalkeeper, Calkins. Good 
Battle along the far side. Nice steal there by McDonald. Boyce on the throw in. Back in Hiller's territory. And we'll get a whistle there. Free kick for Ashland, big opportunity. Bailey Hennessy will take it. Hennessy certainly has a lot of power. We'll see where she puts this one. Airs it out, and a little bit too much power on that one. Looks like she was looking towards Sarah Simpson, who's in the right corner. Zent gets rid of it. Has broke along the far sideline. And now it's Boyce racing in Ashland territory. Ashland defenders ready for it. Oh, Ashland in a 4 4 3 formation. Excuse me, 4-3-2, I should say. Kept out of the box by the defender. Along the sideline, it's Hirsch. Out in front, McDonald airs it out, and that one would be good for three in football. But no goal here. Braden towards the near sideline. Kept away by the defender, Hilt. Down the sideline. Pellegrini centers it up. Nice job by Zent keeping that one in front of her. Taken back by Pellegrini. On the ground into the box and Calkins will scoop it up. On the attempted shot, Sarah Simpson. And we saw Lima race over and try to get to it just before Calkins. Sarah Flynn set to throw it in after a substitution for Ashland. Madeline Hornung back into the game. Sarah Simpson takes the seat. Along the far sideline, out in front. And a nice job by Zent. Keeping calm under the pressure there. Along the sideline, it's Hubner. Pass up to Birchman and now back to Hirsch. Header by Lang. Out of bounds along the near side. By Zent on the throw in. There's Hubner. Back down to Zent. Top of the box now and kept away by Lang. 
Millers with an opportunity here. As O'Connor had that one denied. There's Olivia O'Connor again, a pass over to Boyce. Airs it out. Into the box. And around the defender nearly was Birchman. And in that case, I think the goalkeeper uh, needs to scoop it up there. And tripped up is Sammy Hirsch. And this is going to give the Hillers a big opportunity. Maya Zent. We'll see if she's going to put this one inside the box or maybe go to the right side. And she is going to lift it right into the goalkeeper's arms. Good scoop up there by Olivia Green. Down the far side, Nina Gigliotti. Rowan Ashland. Back out of bounds, Kara Flynn on the throw in. Back into Ashland territory. Chased down by Jablonski. Down by O'Connor, Boyce up the sideline and out. About 30 minutes or so left in this second half. McDonald with the back pass. To Finnegan and now stolen away. Pellegrini nearly had it there, taken back by the Hillers. Boyce up the sideline. Off a of Hasbro and out. And it will be a Hillers throw in. be an Ashland throwing. Oh. Ashland throwing from the far side and back out it goes. Flynn will do it again. Ashlyn with a good look here. Hubner up the near side. Pass back down by Jablonski. McDonald. Boyce. Up the sideline. McDonald airs it out. And Green out of the net, it's wide open. And the shot is just off the mark there by Birchman. Big opportunity there. Birchman uh, thought she had less time than she actually did and rushed the shot. Sammy Hurst chases this one down. Good 
throw in Ashland. Jablonski will take it. Sydney Jablonski, senior for the Clockers. Coming down now is Emily Lang with that one. Mary Thompson. Cleared away by the defender, Kiara Flynn. Down the sideline by Grassberger. Taylor's throwing, Hasbro takes it. And Hornung puts that one out of bounds. New Corinne Messier. There's a push there and the whistle. A blatant push there by Lang. Free kick for the Hillers. Sammy Hirsch will air it out. That was a good one. Right to the top of the box. The shot is off the side of the net. Well, a good look there, just not get it where she wanted it. Gabby Welding with the attempt. That went off of Sydney McDonald. Down the sideline was Flynn. Hiller is keeping it alive in Ashland territory. It's Gabby Welding over there in the corner. That one out of bounds. Ashland throwing. Off of Donnelly. Ashley Donnelly, a sophomore for Hillers. Ashland will get to kick it away. Mid area of the field as Braden had some good air under that one. Ashland with the throw in, and they'll do it again. This time closer to midfield. Cameron Boyce. Back out of bounds, Ashland on the throwing. Lynn with the throwing. Kasia airs it out and out. Back and forth here at midfield. Good steal there by Messier. Now pretty good footwork by Hennessy. Hillers take it back over. Sam Thompson centers it up. Hirsch with the back pass. Has broke. Up the sideline to Thompson. Thompson chasing it down in the corner. Kept away by the defender. Well, these Ashland defenders have played exceptionally well in this one. And the pressure has certainly been on from the Hillers. Has broke on the throw in off of Messier. Up over to Thompson. 
Towards the corner, pass along the end line. And that is put out of bounds by Braden. Along the sideline, put out by Hennessy. Has broke on the throw in. Out of bounds there. Ashland will have a substitution. Billy Fuller back into the game for the Clockers. There's Fuller now as she put that one out of bounds. Has broke on the throw in. Fuller meeting up with Hasbro. Tennessee airs it out. Is off of Finnegan and out of bounds. Fuller with the throw in. Just over 21 minutes left to go here in the second half. Put out of bounds by Lang. Hasbrook on the throw in. Header by Fuller. Hasbrook will do it again. Donald pass over to Finnegan, who puts it back in Ashland territory. Jablonski there with the lift. Contact there, and there's the whistle. Hard collision as Simpson body checks Ashley Donnelly. And this is going to give the Hillers an opportunity here. Gabby Welding will line it up at the 37 yard line. And that is a good lift, but right to the goalkeeper. Green scoops it up. She just got that a little bit more to the left or gave it a little bit more of an arc. That could have very well been a Hiller's goal. As now a chase down into Hiller's territory. Nicely played by the defenders. Cameron Boyce on the chase down. And Lakasha puts it out of bounds. Throw in for Ashlyn. As they are trying to close the book on this one. That one into the wrong net. Hawkins will get rid of it. Lift towards the near side, and that was a great pass by Lang. Out in front of the box, and a good lift on that one off the goalkeeper, and she'll scoop it up. There's Allison Flaherty on the initial shot. And then a bobble by Calkins and Tarabasi almost got to it. Has broke. There's a push there. That one on Pellegrini. Sammy Hirsch will air this one out. And Boyce trying to bat that one down, but Flaherty takes it away. 
Down the far sideline. End of the box. Out in front. Aired out, and it is just over the net from Fuller. And Lily Fuller there was just trying to put that right over the head of Calkins. Down the far sideline. Looking for the center up was Flynn. There's a good pass there, but a little bit too far. Well, Ashland certainly showing no signs of taking their foot off the gas pedal. And you certainly don't want to do that against this Hillers team. because they will certainly take over momentum. But Ashland putting them back in their place, at least for right now. It's Fuller passed down the sideline of Hennessy. Out of bounds. Ashland throwing, Fuller will take it. To the right of the box. And a push there. Big opportunity for Ashland. Elena Pellegrini drawing the contact. And this is going to be a nice position for a free kick from Hennessy. Kaylee Hennessy airs it out. And Hawkins is going to scoop it up. Nice job by the goalkeeper. Keeping that one out of the danger zone. Up the far side, Donnelly. Flynn will clear it away. There's Boyce. And a header along the far side. Here come the Hillers. Good look here, Sam Thompson chasing it down. Towards the sideline. And that was off the goalkeeper's hands. Ball still alive, the shot was oh, just a little bit too high from Corinne Messier. Messier with a good turnaround shot there, but just a little bit too much of a lift. Braden will clear it away. About 15 minutes left to go in this one. Birchman along the far side. And it certainly has been an exciting second half. A lot of momentum shifts. Both teams getting some good shots on net. Jessica Braden will clear it away. But first, we will have a timeout from the Ashland Clockers. About 14 minutes left to go here in the second half. It is a 1-0 Ashland lead. You're watching Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM, as well as Ashland Clockers Girls Varsity Soccer on WACA-TV. Continuing on with the second half off the timeout. About 15 minutes or so left in the game. And both these teams have had a couple of great shots on net, but no goals to show for it just yet. Ashland with the one nothing lead. The Hillers aggressively have tried to respond the Clockers have defended well and some great goalkeeping also from Olivia Green. Throw in to Ashland. Now one aired out into Hiller's territory. And there's uh, Pellegrini there on the chase down along the far side. 
Back out it goes. Hiller's throwing. Centered up. Looking for Fuller on that one. And then aired out to the right of the net. And that was off the goalkeeper. It's going to be a corner for Ashland. Bust off of Hawkins, and that was a big leg there from about from the uh, midfield area by Emily Lang. Ashland corner from the right side. Keeps it low. A turn around and lift it out of bounds. Lily Fuller uh, was on the corner. Kiara Flynn put it out of bounds. And now Calkins will clear it away. Was welding up the sideline and out. Flynn. Donald there's uh, Birchman Fuller matched up with Sam Thompson Throw in for Ashland. Madeline Hornung takes it. Excuse me, Sydney Jablonski, rather. Up the sideline, Thompson. Out in front. Nice job by Kiara Flynn, staying calm on defense, able to get that away. That one was off of Jablonski. Throw in Hillers. Hasbro set to throw in after a couple Hiller substitutions. Sam Thompson, Olivia O'Connor taking a breather. Sammy Hirsch back into the game. As well as Kate Hubner. That one aired out by Lang. And out of bounds beyond the end line. Hawkins. Lily Fuller with a good pass there, and then nice job by McDonald getting it away from Flaherty. Out of bounds along the far side. Sarah Simpson on the throw in. They'll switch it up. Kara Flynn. Big contact there. That was just simultaneous contact going for the ball, though. Both players are very much okay running upfield. As Allison Flaherty meeting up with McDonald. Emily Lang gets it. Back into Hiller's territory. And now back into Ashland territory from Cameron Boyce. Zent with the header. Fuller turns it around. It's down to Hennessy, and there's Hasbroke. 
Has broke, pass up to Zent. Zent leaves it in front, no one there. Green will scoop it up. Within nine minutes left to go of regulation time here in the second half. Clockers clinging on to a one nothing lead over the Hillers. Boyce airs that one out. Going off of Fuller. Ashland throwing along the far side and Boyce will give them another one. Flynn on the entry. Down the sideline. Get out by Lakasha. In the Ashland territory. Good move there by Green. Scoop it up. Get it away from the approaching Molly Birchman. Hiller's on the throw in. Cameron Boyce. McDonald. Putting it back upfield, Lang. Boyce on the entry and put out of bounds off of Simpson. Nakasha on the throw in and now we'll have Boyce instead. And this is into Hiller's territory, an opportunity here. Pellegrini with an open look. The shot off the goalkeeper. What a save by Hawkins. And now a battle along the far side. Boyce, good footwork. Able to get it around. Simpson. And we'll get a whistle here as it's aired out into Ashland territory. Substitution Hillers. Olivia O'Connor back into the game for Shannon Finnegan. Hillers throw in McDonald. That is going to be a free kick for Ashland. Good lift over to the far side. Zent. Now a race into the Ashland backfield. And out of bounds, throwing Hillers. Welding on the entry with just over four minutes of regulation. Pass up by Hubner. Go 
far side, Massier. Pass up into Miller's territory from Hennessy. Hopkinton looking for one last effort here to try to get back into this one. Thompson not going to get there in time. Throw in for Ashland. Off of Pellegrini, and now off of a Hiller and out. Oh no, it's out just before. So Hasbro on the throw in. Well defended. Takasha sneaks by the midfielder. Hasbro. for the center up into the box along the end line and a nice job by Messier and deep in Ashland territory but Sidney Jablonski able to prevent the shot Ashland will get to clear it away and they will take their time with this one. Braden. Boyce. And this is going to make Green come out of the net. At this point in the game, you certainly want to take no chances. This is the time where you just simply try to play keep away and waste out the rest of the clock. That was a good header there from Lang, who's played very well in the midfield area for Ashland. Has broke on the throw in. Along the far sideline and just out of bounds. Substitution Ashland. Now about a minute or so in regulation and certainly not a whole lot of injury time in this one. So we are down into the final stages of this game. Ashland trying to hold on to the one nothing lead. Hillers with a look here. Out in front, kept away. Corinne Messi trying to turn it around to Eubner. And now here's Hasbro. Uh, Hasbro put that one off of the defender there, Hennessy. And uh, Hillers are going to have a free kick here. This could be their last opportunity. Gabby Welding. Lifts it up, and Green dropped it, but will scoop it up. Was just able to scoop that up before a pair of Hillers came racing in. And that is going to do it. The Ashland Clockers are going to hold on for the one nothing victory over the Hopkinton Hillers. Ashland improves to 5-3 and 2. The Hillers fall to 2-4 four and 4. A great well fought out game between these two TVL rivals. Certainly a lot of excitement in that second half and good amount of shots on net as well, but no one able to 
come up with a goal in the second half, but it worked out perfectly for Ashland. And I think your player of the game, you certainly have to give it to the goalkeeper, Olivia Green. She had a great game for the Ashland Clockers as they pick up their fifth victory on the season. They are now up to 12 points overall. The Hillers, they are stuck at eight points. A great game between Ashland and Hopkinton as the Clockers take down the Hillers one to nothing. For Jack Emberly, Todd Carter on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching this broadcast of Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM Television in Hopkinton or WACA TV in Ashland. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.